Hey this is Pete from NicheSpin.com In this video I'm going to go over the front screen of our new stand app and what I mean is I'm going to design the front screen and show you the different options I'm going to add in there to allow the user to then go through and read each issue of the magazine. Now because this is really the first video of how we're going to get going with new stand apps I'm going to keep it very basic we're going to work on the premise that the magazine is going to be a free subscription and then I'll go through the different options we have of putting content into the magazine and what I mean is PDFs or HTML5 and so on. So to start off with I'm going to map out how the front screen looks on my notepad. So at the very top we want to have a header and this header is really just going to tell people what the magazine is all about. Then just underneath the header, we're going to have an image of the first issue, or should I say the latest issue. And then to the right of the image, I'll have some descriptive text describing what this issue is all about. And I guess at this point, maybe a little bit of text about the magazine in general. And then underneath that, I'll include a subscribe button to allow the users to subscribe free of charge to the magazine. And then I'll also have a view button so that they can view the magazine nice and simple. Now I'll probably have a little bit of space left over on the right. No, I won't. I'll, let's just fill it with some more text. There we go. Okay, now we have the header and the latest issue sort of mapped out. We could then have a break and then we list all the older issues underneath. So what I mean is we will have a smaller image per issue. We'll have um, maybe two per row and then we can have a view button so that the user can select to view the magazine. Let's have another one next to it. And then this would just repeat for however many issues of the magazine have already been published. So week after week or month after month, depending on how often the magazine gets published, this list would just keep growing. Just tidy it up with a few uh, horizontal lines. And there we go, that's the basic layout. Um, I'll just put some more, more text in. So that's it, yeah, the basic layout of the magazine. Now, We've got a couple of buttons here, so I want to go through and explain what will happen when a user selects a button. And this will map out, you know, the steps I'm going to follow in future videos of how to actually make this all work. So first of all, we have the subscribe button, and I'll mark that with a number one. When a user clicks the subscribe button, as usual with Apple apps, iPhone and newsstand, a message box would pop up to say, do you really want to subscribe? And then you'll probably be asked to enter your username and password. Well, all that stuff is handled by Apple itself. All we need to do is create the subscribe button and link it to a subscription in app purchase. Now, this doesn't mean the user has to buy it. It's going to be a free in app purchase. So all we're going to add in here is link to the in-app purchase. Oh, let's put subscription. Once the user confirms that they do want to subscribe, then they'll probably get a message box saying that the subscription is successful. Happy days. <laughs> but that's about it. That's all that's going to happen with the subscribe. But the feature that this is going to give the user 
or allow our app to do is whenever we issue a brand new issue of the magazine we can send a specific newsstand push notification to the user's device even if the user hasn't got our magazine app open because it's newsstand it's going to download the brand new issue to the user's magazine so that let's say it's night time and they wake up in the morning they will see a number one icon on their screen showing that there's a brand new issue of the magazine available for them to read so that's a pretty neat feature in newsstand and it's specific to newsstand apps only now the next button we've got is button two or oh, sorry the view button we'll mark it with the number two and this button we want to more or less act exactly the same way as all the other view buttons that we have identified for all the old issues of the magazine so I'm gonna put a number two down there as well so then the flow for this is when the user clicks the view button we will have a link URL link to the actual issue now this could be a PDF and that in actual fact the first thing we're going to do is use PDFs to deliver the magazine but it could also be later on we will do HTML5 type content so it's a bit more interactive and once the link opens the user can read the issue and uh, that's really all I want to go through on this video so it's just an outline of what's going to happen on this front screen now the next video I'm going to show how we actually build this but I'm going to keep it super simple I'm not going to use fancy graphics I'm just going to use placeholder images and text just so that we can get something working really quick and prove the concept works so it's a, a proof of concept really once everything's working and we've got a PDF linking and it can open we'll then tidy it all up so that's about it join me in the next video thanks bye bye